Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. First card here we have is Trauma Bond. Wow. So what I'm picking up from this message is that your person is or maybe in a connection with someone who fell in love with the unevolved version of your person. This is the unhealed version. This is the version of your person who was operating in self-limiting beliefs, who wasn't awakened to their true self, um, who may have unhealed trauma, wounds, and all that kind of stuff from their past here. And when you go out into the world and whatever it is that you have on the inside of you is reflected outwardly. So the person that your, your person is currently with was a reflection of their unevolved self. And that is the kind of bond that your person formed. And when you get inside of these bonds, this is like a really, really deep soul tie. It has a very cyclical nature here. It's very low vibrational. And I don't mean that in a negative sense. I just mean that there's really no room to grow here. And what usually happens in these types of connections is that one person will usually expand beyond the connection here. They will go out into the world and they will realize, hey, I really can have these desires of my heart. I really can have real love. I really can heal from my past. I really can live this life that I thought was but a dream here. And I feel like that's what happened with your person here. So it's not necessarily that your person doesn't love you or your person doesn't feel the intensity of the connection. Your person just may very well be in a trauma bond. And a trauma bond is a form of a soul tie. It is spiritual and um, it's a lower energy here. Um, but I do see that your person may have expanded. If you identify this person as your twin, okay, you have to have some level of awakening to even align with, with, with the twin, right? So your person has, your person just may be the one in this connection who has expanded, who has grown, who wants more from themselves, who, you know, has got a taste of their higher self and they're really pursuing that. But this part of their life um, is something that they're trying to break away from, but this may not be as easy as it looks, okay? So let's get the next message here. Wow. We have covering up something huge. So what I'm getting is that the thing that is, being covered up is you. You met your person and you confirmed everything that they have been feeling for a long time. I'm getting that your person has grown and reached beyond this connection that they're in here. Um, they may have been going through some type of spiritual awakening or your person just have may have really just put in the work to build their character, you know, to become this greater version of themselves here. And with their covering up right now is the fact that they have came across a person who embodies everything that they never thought that they could ever have in this life. And that person is you. While this trauma bond may be the reflection of their lower self, meeting you in your connection is a reflection of their higher self. Okay, and your person may be covering that up. I'm also getting the sense that your person may have to dumb themselves down, okay, in, in the connection that they're currently in. I feel as though they can't be as expressive. They can't, it's like the total opposite. I'm getting just opposite energy here, like darkness and light, okay? And I don't mean that in a negative sense. I'm just, you know, that's just the parallel that I got here, um, or the comparison, rather, that I got here. But yeah, your person is covering up that they are in love with you, okay? They found, they never thought they would be in love 
like this. They never thought a love like this existed. Your person had self-limiting beliefs around love, okay? They had a blocked heart chakra. Your person really didn't open up fully to the idea of being in love. And when they met you and you reflected that back to them, your person just, oh my gosh, it, it opened up their world to something totally new. It's almost as if they see the world through a total new lens here. And it's frustrating because they created this life here. And when they operate and they exist in this space, it's a constant reminder of a version of them that they no longer identify with. And you have to imagine how hard that is. Um, so while you may be feeling as if your person doesn't care about you, you're, you're wondering if everything they said was a lie, um, do they even love me? Your person loves you very, very much, okay? Um, your person is in a very, very tough spot right now as it pertains to staying the same and existing in something superficial or answering the call of their soul and aligning with what God has for them. And that may not be, I mean, the answer is obvious here, but the technical part of it is not that easy, okay? And your person wants you to know that. Maybe they can't communicate that with you. Maybe they don't want to disappoint you because that is disappointing, you know, because the, the answer is obvious. Why would you not choose love? Why would you not choose somebody who, you know, awakens your soul and you have a higher purpose with? You know, the answer is, it seems obvious, but there's a lot of work that has to go in on the back end to, to bring this into fruition here. Let's get the last message. Oh, wow. We have unfinished business. Yes. So your person wants you to know that I'm feeling that they have unfinished business like on both sides here. So your person has to tie up some loose ends here um, with whatever they're dealing with external to you. And they want you to know that you also have unfinished business here. Your story doesn't end here. Your person loves you. You've awakened them to a whole new, I'm just getting a whole new world, like a whole new realm um, of possibilities here. And your person wants to experience that. This other situation doesn't resonate with who they truly are here. They've existed in this place. They know what comes with that already. Your person wants to see what happens if they really follow their hearts, if they really follow their soul. Okay, so this is really, really deep. This is a very intense kind of connection here. Um, but your person is definitely, definitely um, aware of who you are. And they're aware of the power of your connection. They know exactly what it means. Um, they may not identify with twin flame. You know, they may not know the technical words for it but they feel it, okay? Um, they feel it deep to their soul, deep to their core here. They know that you are extremely important to them on their journey here, and they feel, it, if they feel out of place, you know, in, in their lives right now, currently. It doesn't feel authentic. Once you are awakened to true love, once you are awakened to your true self and your true authenticity, anything else just doesn't it doesn't align with that. It doesn't measure up. It doesn't hit the same. You know what I mean? So let's pull from the Wisdom Oracle to see how your person is feeling about you despite how you may be feeling at this time. How your person feels about you and your connection. Wow, wow, wow. Serendipity. Wow. Okay, so this card talks about a chance meeting. This card talks about spirit putting people in your life at the right time 
at the right place. You not having control over this. This is being like a chance encounter. This is like divine intervention here. This is how your person met. This is how your person felt when you first met them here. Wow. So I'm getting that you met your person. So I'm getting, okay, I just heard inconvenient. So the timing in some way was inconvenient here, of course, because either you were in a connection or your person was already in a connection and then boom, you meet this person and it's like, who are you? Where have you been all my life? Oh my gosh, you were made for me. I know you are my person, you are my soulmate, but why now? It doesn't make sense. How do I fit you into my world? How do we create our own world? It was just so many questions here. But I guess the message here is that things happen and we really don't have a, a deep understanding for them. And when that usually happens, there's a higher power over what's taking place here. So you and your, you and your person may have met at a very, very inconvenient time. But trust and believe me, it was spirit, it was it was the creator, it was source who brought you two together, okay, at that time. And it may look crazy to you, but trust me, it's for a higher purpose here, okay? Maybe you were brought into your person's life to affirm everything that they had been feeling on the inside of them. Maybe your person was in this, in this trauma bond and really wanting to expand and nothing in their world was a reflection of that. Maybe they felt all this love inside of their heart and their external world was just not a reflection of anything that they felt and then they meet you and everything begins to make sense. Oh my gosh, this is powerful. Let's pull the next card here, how your person is feeling about you. Wow. Why? O-M-G. So... Your person is questioning everything. Okay, so like I was just saying, your person met you and you made them question everything. I'm even getting your person asking God, like, why? Um, why is this happening right now? How do I, you know, how do I shift my life? How do I align with this person? If this is what you want from me, how do I make it so? Okay, your person has asked a lot of questions and you have been at the center of them all here, okay? Your person has been kind of covering up that they want this with you, okay? They may not have all the details. They may not know how to um, bring this plan into fruition here. I'm seeing that they're asking for divine guidance and how to navigate this connection with you right now. Wow, this is beautiful. So if you've been questioning if your person knows who you are, because I'm getting that question. I'm getting that in my head. Like, that, do they even know, like, that I'm their twin? Do they even know, you know, how divine this connection is? Do they even recognize me? Do they feel what I feel? Yes, they do. They absolutely do. Let's get one more message here. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Whoever this reading is for, your person knows exactly who you are. We have new life. OMG. Do you see how this person is like waking up, stretching here? This, this is how you made your person feel here. You have awakened your person to a whole new life. Okay? You have awakened your person to who they are, to what they want, to their soul. Okay, when your person came into contact with you, it was almost as if their entire body, you know, was just vibrating at a at a rapid rate, just letting them know this is your person. Okay, your person wants a new life with you. Your person wants a deep, intimate connection with you. You bring out their best version. You both are on the same page. You are extremely compatible with your person here. Your person loves you more than you more, more than you can even imagine here, no matter what it looks like. Your person external to your connection may be dealing with something that you have no idea how hard it is for them at this time. 
So that may show up in many different ways. The masculine energy has a very, very different way of handling stress, of handling um, constraint and different things of that nature. So it may show up in them ghosting. It may show up in them, you know, um, not really having the words to express or not really being as expressive because they operate in action. And if they're not in a place where they can take an action and change things, then they're kind of, you know, they're not going to be as expressive. They don't want to sit around and talk, you know, about what, what they need to do. They just want to do it. And I know the feminine energy, you want to hear it. You need to be affirmed. You need to know that these thoughts and these feelings that you are having are valid. And they are valid, even if your person can't communicate that with you right now. So whoever this reading is for, this was this was just beautiful here. Um, your person definitely loves you, okay? Um, they may be going through some things within this connection here that they can't openly express to you. But I feel that you will, you will have a powerful, powerful shift in the near future with your connection here. So that's the message that I have for today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to like the video on your way out. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.